guys, we are here. Okay, so I came a bit early, which means I can uh, get to fly the drone. I think that it's still uh, bright enough. So yeah, let's get this uh, baby up uh, in the air. Okay, so as you can probably see, it's not really dark yet, we are still well in the blue hour. And I think that now is the best time to set everything up, especially because I had to completely tear down my setup and considering I came so far to take images, uh, I better not waste uh, too much time, so yeah, let's uh, get this party started. Okay, so I finally throw uh, everything together. Now I am a bit concerned about the clouds, but not too much since they are in the north side. Now I'm going to image in the south side, plus the weather forecast is saying that soon we should be uh, totally cloudless. So I hope that that's uh, correct. And yeah, just a quick tip for you guys, if you don't already know, you can start to do your polar alignment uh, as soon as you see the first stars, because the camera sees uh, a lot more than you with the, the naked eye. And as I mentioned before, I really don't want to waste uh, a single minute here. So yeah, I'm going to start my polar alignment. Okay, so I cannot start anything without a battery. Okay, so I really hope I didn't forget to charge them, so let's try it. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not uh, that stupid to actually try it. Okay, so first I have to say sorry for the bad lighting, but uh, I really don't want to destroy myself this uh, beautiful dark sky but anyway I got my first image in and of course uh, our airplane had to destroy it so I will probably pull up uh, the second image and I have to make a screen record and I have to say that coming to a site like this where you can uh, see the Milky Way perfectly clear with uh, the naked eye is uh, really something special and although I'm not uh, religious or anything but uh, this really feels like a spiritual place uh, while looking at the sky like this. I'm really happy that I came here to Vulca Planina. I think uh, I found an amazing spot where I'll definitely return. Uh, the only problem is that it's uh, almost an hour and a half uh, drive to get here. But uh, other than that, uh, I don't know if you are interested in this, but it's been a few hours since I had a meal. So I'll make myself some delicious canned food and a cup of coffee and uh, just enjoy the view. So today I'm back at home at my lovely light polluted backyard and if you are asking if it's worthy to go under some darker skies I would uh, definitely say yes and I'm not sad that I'm at home uh, tonight at least uh, at least not a lot <laughs> Anyway, to be completely honest, uh, I wasn't uh, really prepared 
for going to a Vilka Planina because uh, we had a lot of uh, bad weather lately but yesterday when I woke up and uh, checked the weather forecast uh, I basically started to panic uh, instead of uh, preparing normally and unpacking everything I realized that I didn't even mention what I'm imaging so as you now know uh, I was gathering the RGB data for the Eagle Nebula I should say mostly because I also took uh, some images of the Elephant Trunk Nebula and the Omega Nebula but just to compare some results I'll probably pull up some images for you guys uh, of the Elephant Trunk Nebula and I was taking uh, 600 second exposures with uh, the Moon and Sky Glue filter and that is something that I really couldn't do in my backyard because at uh, 600 seconds uh, my images would be completely washed out and I think I could have gone uh, a bit further even with the exposures maybe at 900 seconds uh, this is something that I will definitely try in one of the future videos when I return to Vilka Planina or some other good uh, dark skies but yeah I think I gathered some amazing color data and I would be glad to hear what uh, you will say about the image. And, and yeah, I think that I'll end the video here, guys. So I hope uh, all of you are doing well. I would like to thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.